How dare them take down my videos? Uh, I was filming then, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right. Hi, everyone. Right, I've been asked to do the, the top hat. I've, I've got it in the other room. You've all seen it. And uh, I'm going to do this. I've got Chris with us. Hello, Chris. Hello, Fiona. <coughs> Trish has had to go to uh, bed because she's got work in the morning. Right, this is the packing foam. A lot easier to use than the normal foam or the polystyrene. You need a side plate for the size hat that I've just done. And what you do is, you draw around that, so when I can find my marker pen, we will. <laughs> okay, I'll just show you how to make it. If I've got time to decorate it, I may, but uh, I may have to come back for that because it is late and I also have work. So what you do is, you draw around that, then you need a smaller piece. So what I'm using is the lid. Now I didn't use that lid. Which lid did I use? Oh, which? Oh, I'll use the tin. It's slightly bigger. Well, a slightly bigger shape. So it is hard to get it perfect, but we shall try to get it as near as damn it. Oh, that's about right. You can measure it yourselves. I'm just showing you how to do it. Take your um, pen and draw around that. Oops, make sure you get around it. Okay. Now this way you've got to be careful. You will be using a knife. I'm not sure which one of mine will work. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all you need to cut around the outer rim. Let me just see what I dropped there. Oh, oh, fan brush, can't do that. So you need to cut around the rim. As careful as you can. But with foam you can go back and trim off anyway. Okay, and then you need to get the middle section out, and I'm just using my knife, hopefully it will work. Okay. Sure, we've got that out. That's going to be your top piece, and there you go, you've got your rim. And then, what you need to do, you take a piece. I'm using felt, never mind about that, I haven't ironed it or anything, but uh, you're going to need enough for it to go over the lip like that. On all sides hopefully mine will you can stretch it over it will go and then what you're going to do is draw a circle in the middle these are really easy to make ladies and most people use this back kind of uh, backing tape so when you've done that backing tape you know what I mean the backing at uh, the uh, padding what do they call it? Styrofoam or something. You gone to sleep, lady? Nope, I'm here watching. <laughs> and that's I what you need to... You <laughs> um, and then, oh, let me get my cutting scissors. That might not go over, but it doesn't matter. Then just trim it around. 
you need it to go over so you need to just trim and leave a good half inch where you can my bin I keep missing it <laughs> now what I'm going to do um, I'm just going to slightly trim this around because I don't think that's going to fit just a little bit take a slither off neaten it all up how you want I'm just showing you then you need to take the material cut that don't cut all of that out you need to leave a good centimeter in the middle and you'll see why in a minute You don't have to do it with styrofoam, you can do it like Sarcraft has done. You can use the, um, oh, what did it do with my scissors? There they are. You know with the tape holder, what you do your packing tape with, you could use one of those. But then you'd have to make your own top and that. There's little notches all the way around the centre. And around the sides but when you're doing the sides cut them in a V like that about every inch one reason you're doing that is for neatness Now, little tip, if you haven't got any of this stuff, go to the, you know, Comet or somewhere like that, anyone who sells electrical goods, okay, and um, they will have it, when they've unpacked something, they will have some, so just ask them if they've got any, I'm sure they'll uh, give it you, it saves them getting rid of it, and when you've done that, What you need to do is carefully, carefully, just start to glue this on. You only need to start it off like that. And the reason why we're doing it in sections is because it is easier. Okay, so you can hold that back. Just follow the line. I just keep putting it back on and, and then just working my way around like that. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't matter if you don't quite meet it, doesn't matter at all. But you can work the material where you want it. Hope you can see. like that okay and then what you do you just put little slithers of glue and push that up the foam does melt a little bit just keep packing it up
I like that. Okay, and you've got that. And this is where the bit comes where you have to maneuver it yourself. So what I'm going to do is start straight away by just pulling that on. Just to start it off on one end and then turn it over. A little bit of glue there just to hold that in. And what I might have to do is just to snip around the edges because I did cut the foam um, slightly smaller so it's just enough to help that stay in place I mean you might find an easier way of doing it you might find another way that you want to do it that's completely up to you pop your bit of glue on and work your way around like that so I hope you're seeing this just putting the glue on and helping that around and you see it makes it a neater edge <clears throat> and if you want to put your braiding on, you can do that and it'll hide any gaps. Stops all that bulkiness here. It's the same sort of thing you do when you're doing a book or a, you know, a circle, a heart or whatever is just to snick your ends out and uh, your bits out which just helps it to lay flat like that and then with the center ones take your smaller scissors and just snip them off any extra bits like that you've got that what you need to do then is get a piece of card so I'm just going to get a piece of card oh. and you need to cut it now you don't have to have it too high I'm not going to have this one too high this time so there's my card Move that out of the way. I'm just going to measure it because I do want it to be exact. Uh, 
Where's my pen? So, what shall we have? Um, I'll do it in centimetres. We'll have eight centimetres. Okay. This is so, so easy to make. Discard your rubbish. Then what you need to do is pop the card, curl it round inside the hole in the hat. Okay. I'm going to make sure that it's all completely. And then you mark it. Where's my pen? You need to mark it. So I need to cut that about an inch over. Okay. So about there. Chop that card off. And then... I won't do that at the moment. Next thing, you're going to do the lid. So here's the lid. Again, leaving that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a little bit of glue on that and then just sit it on there and leave enough of this here. And then just take the scissors and I'm just going to cut round it. Like that. About half an inch again. Okay. Um, and then take your other piece of fabric. So you're going to need at least three sheets of this. Um, what you need to do then, because I've got glue dripping everywhere. Whoa, whoa. A little bit of glue on the end and fix that to the board. Let me just get this off of here. I can't stand the glue being everywhere. Um, and then, let me say, pull this back. Just measuring that out all the time. But you got your fabric right. Just making sure that the felt sticks in the right. Oops. Like that. <clears throat> Just going to cut this off. <clears throat> and just glue this bit down. Like that, and then run the glue right the way across there and pop that back on. Like that, and then of course, you need to attach another piece on because of this side. So, again, straight down there and fix that to it, jut it up against each other so you've got a nice, neat line because you can cover that. <laughs> Excuse me, with your fabrics, no, with your flowers or decorations or whatever you want to do. Again, straight across. Like that. And then just chop that bit off. Like that. So that's the whole thing covered. I mean, you can get this in, I think it's 12 by 12 or something like that. So then what you're going to do is you do have to, 
you know, choose where you want the back piece to be and that's going to be there so what I'm going to do is just glue that underneath like that and glue that to that and then from the inside sorry it's uh, just as quick to do it like this like that and push that back in okay go back to this and all you're going to do again is trim it like that to get a nice neat edge of your rubbish do the same again Take your scissors and just trim all that off. Okay, easiest way to do it. You know, nothing wrong with that. And then what you do is you pop that, and it's going to be a tight squeeze. But you pop that inside and push that to the bottom. So that's your... And there's your, you've got your hat thing like that. Now what you can do, because you're going to, you'll cover this and decorate it. Um, so what you can do now is um, take some glue, quick as you can, pop it around the rim and do that. Never, don't worry about that one, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, push this one down, right, just push it down. Okay around the outside edge quick as you can turn it upside down drop that in like that and that will hold that. and there you go that's your hat all you have to do is decorate it and that's how you do your top hat this bit you can just use, um, if you've got any trimming, you know, you can trim that off. You can actually do the reverse of what you've done there if you're going to be trimming it up before you put this on, is to, um, don't worry about that bit there, actually you can, I wonder if I can do that. Yeah, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that back. Should have done it first, really. And uh, take the scissors and just pull that off. That's what I'm after, is to get that off there. Just pull that out. That doesn't matter. Like that. <clears throat> and then all you're going to do is glue that back and you won't see the card that's sealed that don't worry about any of this like that okay that's sealed that up and there you go there's your hat but i was saying before you put this on you can cover this doing exactly the same that way as what you've done that way just reverse it it will end up where you've got a lip here, but then you can always... Or you could do these longer, so they pull in um, and then put trimming on. Or whatever you want to do. But that's how you make the top hat. Okay? And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I will finish this one off, but not tonight. I'm too tired and I'm off to bed shortly. So, um, just showing you how to do it. Great idea. Have you seen that, Chris? There's a blue one. Not as tall as the other one. Beautiful. And I've shown you step by step how to do it. I just have to find the packing stuff. I'll send you some in your boxes. <laughs> well, if I send you some in your boxes, you can at least have some to go with. But I'm just saying, if you go to your local um, uh, electrical goods place or anywhere that sells washing machines, when they've unpacked them, that's what they'll be packed in. Really? Yeah, it's in the boxes. Our computer, this came from our computers, laptops, for the school when we renewed all the laptops. And so uh, that's where we've got this from, out the packing. So anyone who sells electrical goods, that's what they're packing it all in now. So go and ask them if they've got anything. When they've got things out on display, they just throw the boxes. Yeah. With the packing. Ask them for some packing. I have to do that, but I've never seen it. Because you don't see it, because you don't get it, do you? I mean, you don't get it unless you you get it with a certain item. But I know that the computer places are now using it for packing. It's lightweight, it's cushioned, and you can't damage the goods inside. Well, I just got a computer and it didn't give me any packing. Oh, well, you're not buying them from us then. <laughs> exactly. Well, anyway, that's the hat. So that's the next one to do. Not as tall, and I like it that size, to be honest. Yeah. And if you, it's still cute. Yeah, if you wanted to, I could have cut, I could have cut this, you know, like with a, more like a boa shape. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you could do the hat any style you want. Yeah. You know, easy. Just cut it. Yeah. And there you go. That's your hat. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Say bye-bye, Chris. Bye-bye, Fiona. <laughs> no, I'll see you in a minute, you nana. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you ninny. See you all soon. Bye-bye for now.